what is up you guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl crystal k and today i'm going to be making some gingerbread eggnog now i'm not going to be showing my face because i look a little hit today but you know it's all good um these are the ingredients i'm going to be using today try to use good quality ingredients if you can i know it can be a little bit pricey but if you can't it's totally fine um, i'm going to leave the measurements and the ingredients in the description box now let's get right into making this decadent gingerbread eggnog So the first thing we want to do is separate our eggs. We're going to go ahead and separate our yolks from our egg whites and just add our yolks into one bowl. Then we're going to add in our white sugar and our brown sugar and with a whisk attachment we're going to whisk that for a hot second probably like a good like five minutes. So we want it to be super thick like this and then we're going to go ahead and warm up our milk. We're going to take our milk and our cream and our whole clothes and then warm that up on low heat. Then we're going to add in some molasses and then we're going to give that a quick whisk and let that continue to warm up. So once your milk is warm, we're going to go ahead and temper the milk with the eggs. Now pretty much what tempering is, is just adding the hot liquid. So in this case, adding the hot milk to the egg mixture so that the eggs don't scramble. And we're going to do that little by little. Don't just try to throw it in at one time because then you're going to get scrambled in for real. <laughs> but yeah, we're just going to do this little by little. And then once we add in half of the milk and cream mixture, we're going to go ahead and stop. And then we're going to pour our egg mixture back into um, the same pot as the milk. So now that we're back to the stove top on low heat, we're just going to constantly stir this. And what we're trying to do is make sure that it gets slightly thicker, but then also that the mixture cooks up until it reaches 160 degrees Fahrenheit. What we're trying to do is make sure that the eggs are safe to drink. Nobody trying to be out here like drinking like raw eggs and milk. Like <laughs> it's not looking like the wave. But um, yeah, just make sure you get that to 160 degrees Fahrenheit. And then also like you could take like a seven second break or like a 10 second break but don't be out here taking like no one two minute break because then you're gonna mess your joint up and yeah it's not good but yeah so after we get that up to temp we're gonna go ahead and strain that through a mesh strainer and then we're gonna go ahead and add in our spices and then give that a good whisk and then once we finish whisking it we're gonna go ahead and make an ice bath in a separate bowl and then place this bowl in that ice bath so that it safely cools down. So while it's like in the ice bath, we're gonna go ahead and whisk that at the same time. It's probably a lot better if you see like what I'm doing. It sounds a lot easier. But yeah, just go ahead and whisk that until it cools down. Then we're gonna add in some vanilla and then cover that with plastic wrap and stick it in the fridge for a minimum of four hours. And then once your four hour mark is almost coming up, we're going to whip up some heavy cream, one cup of heavy cream, and just whip that up until it turns into whipped cream. It should look something like this. Yes. Then we're going to take our eggnog mixture and pour a little bit at a time into the whipped cream and just fold it until it looks something like this and then you have all your whipped cream and your eggnog mixed together and then we're going to pour that mixture into the eggnog and just stir that then we're going to go ahead and pour that into a jar and voila you have gingerbread eggnog <laughs> now i'm going to just um make this look a little pretty 
I'm gonna um, dip my my glasses in some maple syrup and then I'm gonna dip it in some cinnamon sugar and I'm gonna show you guys my finished outcome. This recipe was so bomb, you guys. Now, if you try it, let me know down in the comments. And as always, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Later.